Here is the push-pull MOSFET circuit that I came up with. We've got an N channel and a P channel in series and we have a speaker in the center. The two diodes at the input, those are the crossover diodes and I've done a video on why they're there already. They're compensating diodes. We've got uh, a 10k ohm resistor at top and a 10k ohm resistor at the bottom and a variable in series with it. That way I can adjust the bias exactly the way I want it. Now here's the build for this circuit. Here's the power supply for this amplifier. It's essentially two 12 volt supplies in series and the ground is in the center. Both the P-channel and N-channel MOSFET are configured like this. The pin all the way to the left is the gate, the center pin is the drain, and the most right pin is the source. In this video, I wanted to do something a little different. I actually wanted to see, visually see, the push-pull effect. In other words, when the end channel is conducting, that's going to be the positive half of the cycle. And when the P channel conducts, that's going to be the negative half. So I put in two diodes. And this is what it looks like. You can see a little strobing. That is because of the camera. I've got the signal generator set on about 1 hertz. And, of course, the camera is set on about 30. So we get a little bit of strobing. But if you're standing there, you can see that it is very smooth back and forth. I did put a scope across the diodes so we could see what it looks like. And, yes, the sine wave is not real clean. And that's because, well, I'm using two diodes as the load but it will still serve my purpose. Let's take a look at just one cycle. And I'm going to use this picture to show what happens when each diode starts to light. Now the left diode is for the N channel and the right diode is for the P channel. So I'm going to show it like this so we can look at the oscilloscope and the LEDs. Now if you look all the way over to the left, you see a green dot that's on zero and neither LED is lit. Now when we start going up our sine wave, the left LED starts to light and of course as we keep going it gets brighter until it's at peak and of course we continue on and it gets a little dimmer going back down and a little bit more dimmer and back to zero so both LEDs are off now on the negative cycle the P channel is conducting and as we continue more negative, it gets brighter until it is peak. Then, of course, it's going to start going down until we reach zero. That's one complete cycle. I made these frames for the beginner who, when they're looking at an oscilloscope trace, may not I uh, really understand what it means. Well, this is what it means, and I'm going to let this movie run for a while. Thanks for watching.